Today I'm going to make full English cupcakes with meat all the way through the sponge as a personal stand against you pseudo feminist bitches and the glittery cupcakes and the little sprinkles and they hang out with our identical friends and they all go home and pretend they're in a 1950s Cotswolds thatched cottage and watch Sex in the City together and eat these shit cupcakes which taste of nothing but sugar and butter and shit. I'll be cooking meat cupcakes and the meaty, fatty goodness will get all the way through the sponge instead of just sitting on top in a sugary mess. Poor English cupcakes. <laughs> Meat. So, for my English breakfast muffins, you're gonna make a nice meaty batter. So it's the basic cupcake mix with brown sugar, so it mixes nicely with a lovely meat gut. Nice wedges, black pudding, porky sausages, obviously. And you're gonna finish off the slabs of bacon rashers. It's a perfect hangover cure. First, you need to prepare the meat. This is what's gonna add all the flavor, all that bacon juice. Personally, I've never got black pudding. To me, it's just boiled pig's blood in a condom, but my mum loves it, so I'm gonna try it for her. Okay, so while your meat's frying, you just need to move on to making the batter. It's just the same as any cake recipe ever. It's nothing to lose your shit over. Baking is piss easy. It's like the training bra of all recipes. Something you do with your mum when you're three years old, not when you're 20 and you've moved out. I really don't understand the concept of cupcake parties. I can deal with like maybe a fried chicken party or a pizza party or an English breakfast party, but nah. So get over it or put some meat in. And now to whisk. Look at that. Delicious. All your bits of piggy and the nice fat's going straight in the cake batter. Who doesn't like pig? Just shove it in. It's got all the best bits of an English breakfast, except with the added bonus of cake. Cakes are gonna taste nice and meaty. They don't need a lot of tying up. Unlike your boring cupcake sponges that need to be covered fucking decorations like Moomins and Hello Kitty. I've even seen them with fanny flaps. So what kind of feminist movement has sugar fanny flaps on a cake? What does that even mean? If you think about it, cupcakes are the prickties of the dessert world. Kind of like a girl with loads of fake tan, shit loads of makeup, and a shitty push up bra. They're always disappointing in the end. And now for your sprinkles. Food. There you go, my English breakfast cupcakes. And instead of a twee cup of tea, I've got some coffee Patron. And finally, I've got a cupcake with some actual taste in it. Mmm. Mm.